United in grief, people paid their respects to the victims at memorials across Russia and Ukraine. The tragedy hit close to home in the city of Simferopol, which shares the Crimean Peninsula with Kirsch, where the shooting took place. Russian authorities at first feared the attack was the work of terrorists, but now say they've identified a lone assailant. He's been named as 18-year-old college student Vladislav Rosliakov. Witnesses said the attack started with an explosion followed by more blasts and a hail of gunfire. At least 19 people died and dozens of others were wounded before Rosliakov turned the gun on himself. Many of the victims were teenage students who suffered shrapnel and bullet wounds. There were no immediate clues as to Rosliakov's motive, but a friend told local media he hated the college and wanted revenge on the teachers. Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine in 2014, prompting international condemnation and sanctions. Now the investigation into the Kursh shooting looks set to reopen the wound. Ukraine's president said his country should have jurisdiction. But Moscow sees the incident as a Russian loss, thanking other countries for expressing their sympathy. For the residents of Kirsch waiting at the hospital for news of their loved ones, it's probably an argument that can wait. Hermione G for Euronews.